did you stay up late last night? Did you watch election returns? I did. Uh. I did. I how did. do you feel? I feel, um, I don't know, how do you, how do you, I mean, yeah. I, I, maybe I would say I would like to use you as a sort of, uh, of a sort of yardstick, a sort of my gold standard for how I should feel okay. emotionally, like my level of rationality post midterm, post uh -huh. cable um, exposure. Yes. You know, projection. That um, was, it was a hard day. I forgot how, how stressful feel? projections are. Oh God, I just wish they'd stop that part in a way. Yeah. You know, I wish it was more sort of it... at the very, they wouldn't say anything about results, and at the end of the night, they would just go, this happened. And exactly. you would just go, okay, great. And let it just be like on a slow scroll, or just let it sort of rise to the surface. Maybe it just, like, maybe it sort of appears, and then it, Dissolve. Yeah. But I feel as if, and I feel as if two things were happening last night. I feel like one place was trying to be extremely calm. Yes. If you know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. One outlet. <laughs> and then I feel like another outlet was really lively and it felt like. Like maybe it was like a, maybe like the common space in a dorm. Oh right, you know, everybody like just kind of yeah. You know, but I don't know how do you feel. I don't I, know. The other thing I found very stressful last night is how every time something happens, they go, "We have a big result," yes. <laughs> and you realize they never say this next. This right. next one is meaningless. Yeah. We no, have I a know. meaningless result from a state that doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I, you know, I don't quite know how to feel either. I mean, I certainly know I could feel worse. Right, right. And, uh, I, I've said that and to I myself. didn't feel that two years ago. <clears throat> yes, no, no. You, you know felt what I mean? That you two could... years ago, I didn't say, well, it could have been worse. You're I didn't like, have. Yeah, no, exactly. So and I'll then, take in fact, that. it proved to be worse. Um, <laughs> right. But on the night, <laughs> sure, I couldn't no, imagine. You yeah. thought, yeah. well, yes, there is some comfort in knowing. Uh, yeah. With that, yeah, so I, but I'm also, you know, trepidatious about what it means. I mean, I don't, based on even the events of today, right, I don't we feel like, even... well, that, uh, that we had a midterm and then everything settled right. down. Uh, now, this is a question that I did. I asked so many, mostly I asked the television last night, but some people around me was like, did say that's a good question. When people were, I wouldn't say gloating, but there was, um, you know, some people felt really positive about this uh, this blue wave. Let's yeah. call it a wave. <laughs> yeah. And um, and they were saying, you know, this is an opportunity for the Democrats, you know, to A, B, C. D. And I kept screaming, but what in the next? There's two more months. I mean, what if he, for instance, should fire or ask uh, the attorney general to, um, you know, yeah. like you maybe should I'm resign. Just, I'm just done. Yeah. yeah, I think we'd be better yeah, off apart. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> What about the remaining two months that is like a, it's an opportunity, it's a, it's a recipe for all sorts of, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And nobody, well, no one on the television would answer me because they couldn't hear me, yeah. but also. And that's really one of the of downsides of television, <laughs> right? It? Yeah. I mean, everybody says we're living in the golden age of television. You're like, well, then how come they won't talk to me? No. I had um, a long time ago, somebody was, I was telling a story about it. I was like, oh, my friend. Um, he told me this really, you know, amusing story, and I went ahead and I told the story, and then they asked, "Oh, God, you know, which friend was that?" And I, and I was like, "I think it was Johnny Carson told <laughs> Johnny Carson told all of America this story last night, <laughs> but but he was my friend." Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's totally normal, and you shouldn't yeah. feel weird. Um, <laughs> I mentioned the Golden Age Television. I I want to tell you this because everybody says right now there's so many good shows, and it's so hard to figure out what to watch. My wife and I are watching Sex and the City. Uh, we're watching two episodes a night. I have never wow. watched it. Yeah, so... Wow. Two this episodes was, a night. This was a request my wife made right. and said, hey, this is a show I've watched a hundred times, and I feel like you would understand me better if you watched the show. Oh, and uh, so I want to say, I am enjoying it so much, and it is a show that I underestimated, having not seen... Just based on, Did you have yeah. To say wow. But I didn't, you know. I, uh, but I will admit, and I obviously I cost myself. Uh, fortunately, I'm, I'm getting this uh, great Ex yes. experience now. Um, but have you found that's happened before, where people have said to you like, "Oh, I thought even just based on the yes. color palette of the right. show." Well, first I, of all, yes, I want to say that I think it's very big of you to. Um, share not just with me but with all of America yeah. um, that you feel that your life is I'm not I'm it's putting enriched words, enriched yes. that's what I was gonna say and um, I will say it's really lovely to hear because I think there was there's always been a slight you know I, I, I do feel that the show 
um, suffered a wee bit from a sort of an idea, a, pre a preconceived idea, which often had nothing to do with anyone having seen it. But because you could assume there, there was the sort of things that we knew and saw, whether you saw the sort of titillating, yes. you know, in the candid language, the salty dialogue, and the costumes, and the shoes. But in fact, I, I feel like the show always offered up actual profundity, and the writing was really smart and moving and clever and, and, and I think beautifully illustrated an attempt at finding love, finding home, you know? So I'm so thrilled to hear you. Also, I just didn't, I think the, the part that I'm really drawn to and what, and we're in season six, uh, you're with Burger, I hope it doesn't work out. Um, uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I thought the show would be, have more of a bow on it, if that makes sense. Right. The characters are so human and messy in a way that really resonates. And so nice especially like where it starts, uh, I, I mean, that's the part about it that I, I did not realize because there are certain shows you watch and you know, you can tune in uh, to a Seinfeld any season and they're right. the same four characters. Which is this is very different uh, experience. Like the arc of it is uh, really an accomplishment. Yeah. And I'm, I'm now to the point, because when we started, my wife said it's, you know, whatever, however many episodes. And I was like, like, oh, boy, oh, here we go. Yeah. This seems like it's <laughs> going to be a lot of TV. <laughs> and now I'm like, we only have 17 left. <laughs> uh, so, oh, uh, so, but thank lovely. you for that.